this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to make it seem like your photo is part pixel part photo with uh, what is called the digital pixel effect. You've probably seen this in some advertising, uh, anything to do with like digital stuff, anything that they're trying to sell. Sometimes they throw in some stuff that begins digital and it goes back into being photo. Uh, that's what we're going to be showing you right now. So to do this we need to uh, duplicate our layer here. I have a copy of it and then we're going to go into filter, pixelate, and mosaic. And with that, we can create something that looks uh, like, I'm, like I was telling you, a little bit more like that, the advertisements, right? So we're going to set in a cell size for this image here specifically. We're going to set a cell size for 10 squares, 10 pixels. You might want to make it a little bit bigger if you're using a bigger image because that is dependent on the number of pixels your, your image is made up of. So your, your squares would be quite small at 10 for a bigger image, but this one is quite right for this one. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to blend in the two. So we're going, there are several ways you can do this. You can add in, of course, you can add in your layer mask. And with your layer mask, you can then uh, add a gradient, for example. And with the gradient, you can bring in, go from, uh, you know, photo to digital. Or what you can do instead is um, just paint over and perhaps paint in with an opacity here, a low opacity of like 30% and a big brush. You might just want to paint in um, so that you have a gradated effect so you can have some parts of the image still showing through as being digital. So we can mix that in a bit. And you can always bring that back if you think you've gone a little bit too far. So you can have a bit of like a one hand being digital and the other one being more of a manual hand here, for example, like that make the hair a little bit more blocky there we are so you can bring that merge that in there and you can have it like a digital looking photo and what you can also do as you're here is change the mode here from normal you can change it to lighten for example which will change the effect of that uh, uh, how noticeable the, the effect is let me just change the back to normal for you to see Right now that is quite noticeable and it's mix, mixing in very predictably, like very, the squares are all there type of thing. And if you change that to lighten, then the blending of the squares here actually becomes a little bit more refractive. It becomes a little bit different. It's almost as if, if we zoom in here, it's almost as if there's a gradient to every square as opposed to just the solid blocks of square. And you can also do that with lighten and in the same way you can do that with darken. And darken will do it pretty much in the same way, but the opposite way, or just make it darker. So I think it actually works quite well here with darken for this photo. And what we can do here as well is uh, just duplicate this layer here and make the uh, effect a little bit more apparent because the darken made it a little bit more subtle. So by duplicating it, we have, we're making the squares a little bit more uh, intense here. But you can also see, start to see through the image which is the cool thing about darken it doesn't it's not just all blocky details you get to see some of the parts with a little bit of block in there so it's a, it's a good mix so there you are that's the digital pixel effect if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you